Let God be true. That's why we let God be true. But every man a liar. And every man is I'm a liar. He's a liar. You're a liar. Read. As it is written. Unless you go as it is written here. That's so right. if you believe in this Bible, we can die alone. We can talk all day. If you got questions, I will answer your questions. If you're right, I'm going to tell you you're right. If you're wrong, I'm going to tell you you're wrong. And I'm going to show you that you're wrong according to the Bible. But if you don't believe in this Bible, how can we walk together except we be agreed? Yeah, I'm on. How? How, how, can, how, can, how, can, how can you think that gay marriage is okay and I think gay marriage is not? And this is opinionated. We ain't going to ever get nowhere. But if I go to the Bible and it's no longer my words, you can't say anything against God. And if you do, you're arguing with God, not me. Right. As a man, I can say that I do believe in a higher power. I can believe in God, but I don't have to believe in that doctrine. Mm. What is doctrine? That literature. Because you say history, what made you think you that say history was your mind, all right? Yeah. All right, so, yeah. you, so you also know that that ain't the original word coming out that Bible. What was the original word written in? Bring it out! Get out! Then I'm going to go back to Isaiah 28. Yeah. Either, it was, it was, it, it was either hieroglyphics or we go into the Sumerian language, we talk in cuneiform. I, I, I know right, a little right, bit right, too. All right, all right, all right. Two things. Two things. Two things. Now, when you're talking about cuneiform, hieroglyphics, and Phoenician language, they only did things to a certain degree. And how I know this because a lot of the scholars can't translate a lot of the cuneiform or the hieroglyphs or right. the right. Phoenician language. That's right. So how could they get an entire book based off of those things? S culturally, they used to pass down stories and laws orally. It was an oral tradition. It wasn't until Moses delivered us out of Egypt that the law was written down so that we could read it. Right. But beforehand, it was always told to us from mouth to ear, generation to generation. And I'm going to show that to you as well. What I had you holding? Doctrine and Isaiah. Get doctrine. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 2. For I give you good doctrine. Forsake ye not my law. So the laws of God is the doctrine. That's what it is biblically. Now I know what you're talking about. You're talking about religion, which this is not. Right. Christianity has nothing to do with the Bible. Right. Nothing. They don't even teach out of the Bible. Matter of fact, the Bibles that they do teach out of, they had to change words to suit them. Right. This wasn't changed. This wasn't changed. If it was, name something in there that was changed that I can go in there and see. And you got to show me the original, where it was, and now the change of it today. Right. What that, the 1611? Yes, sir. 1611 King James Bible. Was King James a white man? Yeah, your name. I believe he was European. He was not. King James, or James the Sixth, was the last king of Scotland. Bring it out. He was one of the last Moors that were ruling in Europe. Bring it out. King James was a black man. That's right. right. According to history. And I'll tell you where they got the, he was a homosexual, he was a white man, he was a European. I'm going to tell you where they got it from. A white man named Sir Anthony Weldon yep. wrote a book called The Court and Character of King James in which he defamed King James 10 years after he died. Right. After King James died. Later on, he came out with another book retracting every statement that he made. Sir Anthony Weldon did. Uh -oh. So it was a defaming that they did to King James. And King James didn't write the Bible. Bring it out. He merely authorized a translation from Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic into Hello. English. Because do you speak Hebrew? No. Do you speak Greek? No. Do you speak Aramaic? No. But I know you know, in this Bible you can read, Man shall not lie with man as with woman. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery. You can read that clear as day. Right. Right. Now watch this, Isaiah 28, verse 11. Isaiah chapter 28 verse 11 For with stammering lips For with stammering lips And another tongue Another language Will he speak to this people Because the Bible was written in other languages 
It was. And it was translated to a language of our captivity. Because if you go to Portugal, guess what? The Bible is written in Portuguese. Right. If you go to South America, the Bible is written in Spanish. If you go to Japan, the Bible is written in Japanese. Right. Every captivity that black people are in, that the Israelites are in today, is written in that language. Right. So a language will not dilute the Bible. Right. It will not change the Bible. Now go ahead. The problem I have with the Bible is it got man's footprints on it. Like what? I'm, all right. How many books does that version contain? 80. All right. And the problem is when people go to teach and that one is 80. But the Eastern Orthodox Bible contains what? 66. So who is to say who what they is did was taken out of the Bible? Listen, listen, you see what I'm saying? Listen, listen. There's a book in here, and we're going to show it to you. There's a book in here called the Apocrypha. There's 14 books that was originally in the Bible. And guess what? The Catholics got that Bible. Right. That's the one that they use. They took. Who got an Apocrypha? Somebody give me the Apocrypha. Right, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. See this right here? King James Version Apocrypha. Now watch this. Show them. Same thing. Now, you know who took this out? Who? The Protestant Church in the 1700s took these 14 books out of the Bible. Right. To go further into it, that book that I just handed him, them same books that's right in here, is banned in the Caribbean islands. Bring it out. Because they used it as a tool of insurrection to go against the white man that was oppressing them in the islands. Bring it out. That's the problem some of us have because it's, it got man's footprints but in listen, it. That's what listen. I'm talking about. Well, listen. This one ain't got man. This got all 80. This is what the Bible is. All, all 80 right. books. This right here. Then we got to deal with... When you transferring words, I gotta make sure that it's comprehended and, and it's translated All right. right. Somebody give me the Bible because dictionary. Now we going from the Bible, like you said, the apocrypha, but then you got the Greek Septuagint. Uh, the Greek Septuagint is yeah. nothing but the Bible in it's Greek. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Do you you say you believe in a higher power, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you believe that that higher power would have his word on this earth get so diluted that it gets to the point to where nobody can see the truth? Bring it out. It's possible. That's why the Quran came out. That's not a higher power. That's why if man, if fallible man, can take God's word and corrupt it to where there's no more truth in it, he's not a high power. Bring it out. Okay. Nope, it, it, it can't. You, 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 it, you're wrong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you like this. Watch this. Look, look. I'm, I want to show you something. I want to show because this not gonna be my words once again. I didn't write. I didn't write this. You saw what this is? This is the Compact Bible Dictionary. I did not write this. Scholars wrote this. Now watch this. Go to Bible King James Version. The Bible. By the Zonovan Compact Bible Dictionary, page 86. 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars of the day were divided into six groups. It said 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars of that time. Meaning these wasn't no ordinary men. Right. These men spoke these languages fluently. They understood the cultural context of what they were talking about. And I'm going to give you an example of what I mean by cultural context. If I say, man, it's raining cats and dogs outside. Is it really raining cats and dogs? Or is it raining really hard? And the cultural context of that in our time is, that means it's raining really hard. So when it comes down to it, these men understood all of the cultural context. So when they translated it, they understood every single thing. And, I, and I'm going to let it go further. Watch. Three for the Old Testament. So out of that 47, they had three groups to translate the Old Testament. Two for the New. Two groups translated the New Testament. And one for the Apocrypha. And one group 
did the Apocrypha. Bring it they over. all was working, six different groups, to translate these texts. Watch this. Two of the groups met at Oxford. Where? Oxford. Do people that go to Oxford know what they're talking about? That is an Ivy League school. Bring it up. It's very prestigious. Wow. And this was before black people was even allowed to go there. Right. Read. Two at Cambridge. Cambridge. That is in England. That's where this Bible comes from. This is the Cambridge Bible. Read. And two at Westminster. Two at Westminster. Another European school. Guess what? Those three translated it and then they went to those three schools to get further help on the translation read when a group had completed its task when they completed the translating of whatever they was doing old testament new testament or apocryphal its work was submitted to 12 men if that translation that they came up with was submitted to higher ups 12 men above them. Bring it out. Two from each panel. Two from each panel. Meaning they had two from each college. Read. Final differences of opinion. Final differences of opinion meaning the cultural context of what something may mean were settled at a general meeting of each company. It was settled at a general meeting of each company. So they all came together and was like, the historical context behind it's more it's easier for a rich man to walk through the eye of a needle. Are they talking about a literal needle? What are they what are they referring to? But you would never know unless you knew that the eye of a needle was talking about a doorway in the Middle East. Right. That a camel really cannot fit through. You have to get off the camel in order to walk through it. That's right. called the eye of a needle. They wasn't talking about a literal needle. You know what I'm saying? Read. In cases of special difficulty, learned men, learned men, not unlearned, learned men. And guess what? Give me that scripture. Uh, the Lord gave the word great was the company of those. Okay. Read. Learned men outside the board of revisors were consulted. Learned men outside of all of those 47 people, plus the 12, plus the six that was coming from other places, Outside of these, so it was not biased, they came in to consult and say, no, this don't mean that, it means this. Because in that language, this is what the cultural context means. So you had all of these different men translate all of these languages into a language that we speak today. Right. How's this? Read that. It's a rock pull off. I'm going to show you. So, chapter 68, verse 11. The Lord gave the word. God gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. The people who published this for his people to read was a great company. You wanna know why? Because now we understand that we're not black, we're not Egyptian, we're not African, we're right. not Asiatic. We're the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. And we can go here and prove it. We can prove that the white man is going into slavery. That's we can right. prove that the white man is the devil. Right. We can prove that this is not their book. Right. Solomon was black. Adam was black. Moses was black. And we can go here and prove it. Right. Paul was black. Christianity is a false religion that was going to rise up in the last days. And we can go here and prove that too. Right. Read and make sure everything was right and exact. But at the same time, and history repeats itself, under the threat of sword, you could be influenced to alter that word. There was no sword there. No, I'm, I'm, and, and, and the scriptures say, look, the scriptures say, that's why, that's why I got it. That's why the playing field is here. God gave the word. There was no threat of sword. And I understand what you're saying. I understand it right there. That's okay. That's why I said history repeats itself. So what I was referring to is when Alexander the Great invaded Egypt and they had them convert all this on the threat of sword, all that could be right. But if Alexander the Great didn't like what was being said in that passage, he could have that altered on the threat of sword. No. You see, either you gonna change that or you die. Now, so now I gotta, I gotta, I gotta correct you on that. I gotta correct you on that. I gotta correct you on that. I have to. Alexander, Alexander, 
allow people to keep their traditions. Only thing he asked was that you have an affinity or a league or a, a covenant with him. As long as you was on his side, you could do whatever the hell you want. He didn't care. After he died, the Seleucid dynasty came through and burned our books. They didn't change them. Bring it out. They just straight up burned them. And we hid a lot of our books under threat of the sword. They did not change it. Why? Because they didn't write it. It was our people that had these books. We were given. And then when the Romans came into play, the Romans actually let us judge ourselves and keep our traditions as right. long as we paid them taxes. They had no authority to do anything to this Bible, and they didn't. They did not change this Bible. Alexander the Great, yes, I can, because Alexander did. He died before our Bible was even found by him. Bring it out. He was dead. He only reigned 12 years. He was dead by syphilis. He didn't, he didn't live that long. The, the solicits, all that. Okay, let me ask you this. Go to 1 Maccabees chapter 1. They came after him. I'm actually. I uh, look, 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 look. I'm gonna ask you this. I'm gonna ask you this, because you, 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 you seem to think that they had anything to do with our book, and they didn't. Now watch this. According to Greek history, right? You had the Seleucid. Did they even talk about the Israelites in their history? The Greek history. Uh, okay, well, okay. They did not. They did not. But were the Africans myself. there? I mean, were the, were the Israelites there? Yeah. They were there. We wrote our own history. They did not write our history for us like they do today. So you're saying they, they, didn't dictate nothing? they didn't take anything. When they did take our book, they burned it. Right. They didn't change nothing. And if they did, why would this be here? Read that. First Maccabees chapter 1, verse 1. And it happened. After that, Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Kim has smitten Darius, king of the Persians and Medes, that he reigned in his stead the first over Greece. So why would they allow the Israelites to write about the Greeks? Because in this book, the Maccabees, we were smashing on them. Damn near every battle that we had, we took them down. They tried to come to Jerusalem countless times, and we stopped them. They could not touch the Israelites. Right. But our losses are recorded too. But see, white people, they don't record their losses. Right. You know, they just record their victories. Right. That's why you will never find the Israelites in Greek history. But you will find the Greeks in Israelite history. Right. We're we going to write about them. We're going to write about them. And we're going to talk about the wicked of their people. We're going to talk about the people that did us wrong. And we're going to talk about the punishment that's coming to them. Now, if they did anything, why not change that? They didn't change nothing. What they did was Christianity taught it to us wrong. Bring they it out. certain verses out of context and made our people believe that that's what it is. But it's not. The truth of this Bible is out today. Right. You're looking at the fruits of that label. That's right. You're looking at it. Because if I was to read this Bible and they had a hand over it, I would never know that I was an Israelite. Like that I would never know that slave ships was written in this Bible. No. I would never know that. Matter of fact, get uh, 1 Maccabees chapter 3. What is it? Uh, 41? 43. No, 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 no. no. 48. When they, when they, when they, when 48. 48. When they talked about the burning, the burning of the book. Oh. 41. 41. Start there. 41. If it's not, we're just going to read down to it. Just read down to it. 41. Read down. 1 Maccabees chapter 1, verse 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom. So now we're talking about Antiochus. Did Antiochus ever say anything about the Israelites or Jerusalem or taking Jerusalem over? You can go research it if you need to. You gotta, you gonna have to, because guess what? You're not gonna find that because Antiochus got his ass whooped by the Israelites. And he's not gonna write in there, yeah, trying to go to Jerusalem and kind of got stuck. Didn't really get to take anything over, so we're gonna go back to the drawing board later. No, read. First Maccabees chapter chapter 1 and verse 56. And when they had rent in pieces the books of the law. They rent, meaning they ripped in pieces the book of the law. Read. Which they found. They burnt them with fire. So why not change it if you can change it? Because it's not their history. 
Bring it up. The reason why we gotta write stuff down is because our people are hard headed. And this was our inheritance that we passed down generation to generation. So that we can see how our forefathers were. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth